Tales of the Tape. 34-year-old Ruger Roo versus 25-year-old Devin Haney for the 140-pound WBO belt, which is Regis, who's only uh, lost one. It was controversial loss. Uh, Devin Haney, he was up. He was ready to play. He was ready to fight this whole uh, bout, and he had Regis reaching. He was using his height advantage on uh, Regis. The tail, the tape said it was he was five eight even. Regis is a smaller guy than uh, Devin Haney, at least by two inches. Regis is about five six, and he had a, a seventy two inch reach on him, and then he dropped him with a quick jab, left jab, and the third, he caught him, caught him reaching. Regis, uh, he he didn't respect uh, Devin's power. He's saying he thought he was pillow fisted, but Dev told him, he said, there's it's, it's a reason why people are not coming in on me like that. And Devin, he continued with the pounding on Regis, as you can see. Staggering him in the six. He staggered him real good. And then went right back to work on him. Using that uh outside jab on him. Regis tried to rough him up a little bit, but Devin, he was uh he was a he was a master boxer. He uh he outclassed uh, Regis today. You know, Regis is the best of one forty, and this shows you how elite Devin Haney is. That he can outclass the best fighter in 140 real easy. He won every round, every single round. Regis didn't win, not one. And the judges, they knew it too. He was just catching them with right hands. And eventually, as they said it was over. And the winner, by unanimous decision, in a shutout, was Devin. The Dream Haney, who wins his second consecutive belt in a different division, becoming the first 140 pounder. His first, giving his first belt. So Devin Haney, he's going on to better things. Ryan Garcia, Tank Davis, Tiafimo, he's calling it out.